I'm John Kuhn, and this is Vidalia City School News, an inside look at the happenings of the Vidalia City School System. Today, my guest is Vidalia High School literary coach and yearbook advisor, Carrie Beth Davis. First of all, thanks for coming by and being with us, taking time out of your day to do that uh, in these uncertain times. Um, what, what have you been doing besides teaching to uh, try to keep yourself busy? Well, um, I actually moved houses during this ordeal. That was interesting, trying to do that while doing school stuff too. And I also did the yearbook, and so we're having to redesign about a quarter of the pages because of the content that we're missing. So that's been an, a really big undertaking also. With that yearbook and having to do that, um, are you having to shift a lot of things around to, to make it where, where it actually you know, fits what's going on? Yes, we are, because we're a second semester class and we don't have a lot of coverage during first semester. A lot of our content comes from second semester, and so when you miss half the semester, then you really have to get super creative and start pushing things around and coming up with new ideas, so it's been interesting. <laughs> Obviously, the, the students are heavily involved in, in the yearbook. Uh, is this kind of shifted that, or have you been able to do that with Zoom meetings and things like that? We've Zoomed a couple of times, and we uh, check in with each other, and I've got several doing some specific projects, but a lot of it um, falls back on me because of the actual, like, to rearrange pages is pretty difficult, and to do some things like that, and to come up with how to, to make the content fit. But once I get that done, then they're, they're really stepping in and doing a lot of work, so I'm really proud of them. Obviously, the, the, the spring uh, activities, spring sports, and things like that uh, are very important and part of the, the annual. Have you been able to get it where you've got team pictures still and things like that? Um, sadly, we have um, three sets of pictures that we will not have group pictures for. We don't have a group picture for golf um, and track, boys and girls track, boys and girls golf, and then also eSports. Um, they were set to be taken within the first couple of weeks after um, we got canceled so um, we were waiting on uniforms for those guys so that's why we don't have those pictures yet so I'm gonna have to take individual student pictures and make like collages and try to do something to recognize those kids but it's definitely interesting for spring sports because you don't have the coverage from games you know so I'm really relying heavily on the kids to contact their peers and, and get pictures from practices or just candidates of the teammates and just try to make it work well Let's shift gears a little bit and go to uh, another uh, part other than teaching. And, and you are the uh, literary coach and obviously uh, a very successful, uh, tons of region titles, individual state titles. This year looked like you were ready to make a run for the championship and all of a sudden the week before you were ready to compete, it's over with. What, what was the feeling there? It was devastating. Um... The kids have put in so much work after school, um, during school. I mean, it was it was a huge setback for us and for the kids, especially because we're really senior heavy. Um, on this year's team, there were eight seniors, and so um, it was really difficult for them to come to grips with the fact that they had poured their hearts and souls. And we were two days away from state, and it got canceled. So, individually, uh, as as a coach, what was the what was the emotion that you were going through? I'm sure it it was. Uh, from from one extreme to the other. Yeah, it was really difficult. At first, I, I was really upset about, you know, the time that we'd put in and just knowing that it was almost for nothing. You know, that's the first thought that goes through your mind is, you know, we've given, um, and not just me, but, I mean, Mr. Morgan working with the music groups and Miss um, Pornell helped me with the acting groups, and we just spent so much time. And so the first thing was, oh, my gosh, all that time, you know, that we've put in, the kids have put in, and, and then it was the heartbreak for the seniors and just knowing that um, since we are losing so many that it's going to take some rebuilding to get the team back up. Like we really, I was really confident that we had a, a chance for state this year. Well, obviously from last year and, and building on the momentum that you were carrying into it, um, all the talents you had coming back, you mentioned um, uh, Mr. Morgan and, and, and what he does with with the musical side of it. That That's a huge part of it. Isn't it's it? huge. It's huge. That's four of the 12 events is music. So um, it was really, I know that he put a lot of time into it. Like he told me that he started trying to pick out music back in the fall. And so, you know, that's something that people don't know about literary is that it's literally almost a full year of, you know, getting ready in some capacity. And so it was, it was, it was difficult for everybody. 
he, of course, is retiring. Um, you talked about a void that was going to be left with your seniors. Uh, this this leaves a huge void too, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it sure does. I don't know what we're going to do without him. I just hope that we, you know, get a, a good replacement that can come up and keep this tradition, this legacy going that we've started building. And and through the years, uh, the vocal part of it has been very strong. I mean, we've we've had some outstanding singers come out. We sure have. Um, way before I came, I mean, the singing was one of the stronger categories, and so it's definitely going to be um, interesting to see what next year holds for us. Go to the one-act play. Obviously, that is that is in the fall, but but we have parts of that in literary. Miss Purnell, of course, you said helps you with that. Uh, I think to Jerry Williams right now, really quick, and, yeah. and don't want to single out anybody, but. Boy, what a what a great accomplishment that that she has already done getting accepted to Oglethorpe. Yeah, just just talk about her a little bit. Um, Jariah, last year was her first year competing with literary, and she won a state title. Um, she did a humorous oral presentation, which is they call the acting events oral presentation. But um, she did a humorous piece where she played um, probably five or six different characters. It was about a camp um, called Camp Sunshine, <laughs> um, and it was really great. And she just blossomed. I mean, she's always been so good at what she does with acting, but then this year she decided that she didn't want to do an individual event, and she worked with Hannah Connor, um, another senior, and they were doing the duo oral presentation, and I think that was probably one of the most devastating for me because we'd worked so closely on it. They're both in my um, fourth block drama class, and um, they took this year, we were so proud of them, they, they decided they wanted to do The Help and uh, by Catherine Stockett, and they took the book and condensed the whole entire book in less than 10 minutes and played characters. And they wrote the script and they worked on it for months. I mean, since probably January. Um, yeah, it was about, it was in the middle of January when they started working on it. So it was every day, the whole 90 minute class block that we have, plus we were meeting after school. And it just was, I saw their devastation firsthand because we'd all been working on the acting so much together. And so, um, but their work ethic was just incredible. I mean, we're really going to miss those two next year. So, For the people who may not know the events in literary, we've talked about the music, we've talked about the oral interpretation or drama or whatever you want to call it. What are some of the other events that, that people don't know about? Um, they also have essay writing. Um, there's three different categories for essay. Um, there's personal essay, which is kind of like college application essays, um, very personal based. There's rhetorical um, which is more along the lines of like AP Lit, like that kind of writing. Um, and then there is also argumentative. And so that's one category is essay. And then we also have extemporaneous speaking, um, which we've had some contenders there for the last couple of years too. Um, and basically they have to present an argument off the top of their head. They prepare by looking at current events, but then they have seven minutes to present to the judges on the day of competition. They have about 30 minutes to prepare before the presentation. But um, So those those are the events. You've got the oral presentation, um, extemporaneous speaking, essay, and then the music events. It was a 12 total event competition. You said you're losing a lot of seniors this year, so obviously uh, you're going to rely on the juniors that had participated. What about kids who did not know that this existed? Uh, what's the process for them getting involved in it? They just need to reach out. We'll probably do, we're really excited. Let me just back up a second. We're really excited because this year, um, Mr. Sharp, since we had so many first place winners, we did a whole presentation for the student body um, on campus uh, the week before state that got canceled. <laughs> um, and so that was really good because I think it'll kind of showcase the, the event. People don't know a lot about literary because it's not a money maker and it's not like a sport where you get to come out and watch it. And it's often during the middle of the day and it just is a, it's just a different kind of um, sport if you want to call it that. But um, I hope that these kids will see just the talent that we have here and want to be a part of a team that, you know, can help earn our school some points so they can just reach out to me or Miss Pornell or any one of us and just ask questions. We always start really working hard in January every year. Talk to the point about it's not something you come out and watch or you know because it's in the middle of the day. Do you guys actually have competitions with with people during the year or is it all based in the region? It's all based in the region so it's a very different um, like I said a different kind of event because people really just don't know much about it and the kids 
to me, it shows that the kids that do get involved really are passionate about what they do because they're not doing it for show. If you want to look at it that way, um, they really are just competing almost against themselves to make themselves the best they can be. So, what's the uh, what's what's your next step now with the yearbook and and trying to get it out and get it published? What where where are we at as we start to wrap this up? We are trying to get some creative thinking about how to to make those pages really sing. We want to really honor. Um, this group of kids and just make sure that we do our best just to showcase you know what happened during the school year but also what happened during this time off so we're asking kids if they have anything they want to put in the yearbook like anything that they did um, any service projects they might have been involved in or just fun activities they did during the break to, to reach out to either me or any one of the staff members and to get us some pictures and we'll be sure to showcase them. As we close, I always give you a chance to be able to say uh, what's on your heart to your students and, and to even the parents. Uh, anything you'd like to say? It's probably going to make me cry. <laughs> um, I just want to say just thank you guys for just how much effort you've put in and how much um, just the heart behind, behind what you've been doing these last few weeks. Um, kids that are missing us just know that we're missing y'all and those that might not be missing us yet we still miss you guys too and um we're really just excited to see y'all again in the fall and to parents thank you so much just for supporting us and supporting your students and and doing the best that we all can to get through this time together care beth davis thanks for what you do for our students and thanks for taking time to come about and talk to us thank you